Hey everyone, my name's Chris. Uh, I thought I'd uh, show you the kind of screw up I did and the fix that I had to do to make this work. So I went and had a lot of buffeting on my uh, VTX 1300S and I wanted to solve this. So I went out and I bought the Memphis Shade lowers and the hardware to put them on. Um, in the process of doing this, uh, I went to move my tire, and while moving my tire, I snapped one of my lowers, which kind of sucked. So anyways, I didn't want to wait to go ahead and order new ones and all of that because I'd seen some videos of where people had made them online. So I went ahead and I did that. So what I did was I took my good Memphis Shade uh, lower, and I made a template out of it. What I used was the Lexan Plexiglass that you can buy at Home Depot. Um, this particular Lexan is 11 by 14.093 clear. So what I'm gonna do is show you what I did to make uh, this work. So what I did was I took a couple of pieces of plywood and you'll see these are perfect templates now. And what I did was took two sections of plywood that was uh, about the same size as my Lexan, so about 11 by 14. And I took two pieces so that I had one for the right, one for the left. And I basically took my plywood and made a Lexan sandwich, so to say. Then, to hold all of this in place so it didn't move, got me some handy dandy clamps. Clamped them in place. Now I did have to move my my uh, clamps a couple times, and I used multiple clamps so that it always stayed together. I never let this come apart. Then all I did was I took my jigsaw and I cut it. Uh, the jigsaw blade I used was just a 16 tooth wood blade. Um, worked really good. Uh, once I got it all done, I knew there was a couple of edges that. I wasn't going to like, and I expected that. So then I pulled out my uh, little belt sander that I have here that I got for Christmas. Uh, that guy. And I went ahead and made the edges look good. Now, while I was doing my sanding, very important, I uh, did keep the uh, wood and Lexan uh, sandwiched together with the... Um, uh, clamps. Once it was all done, uh, I had that the way I wanted it. Then I just marked the holes uh, according to where the um, the lowers were that I was using as a template. And then I started putting them on my bike. Now, I expected to put them on my bike a little bit lower than the turn signals. And the reality is to make it work and to make it to where... Um, it would knock out most of the buffeting. I actually have them put above my uh, bars. So I'm going to get in here and show you this now. All right. So you can see here. I'll try to get in here where I can see this. Here's my turn signals. Here is where I have the actual hardware. Um, let me see, it's right above my finger where the hardware is mounted for the Memphis Shades. And this is what made, uh, caused the most buffeting for me to, um, stop. So you can see that the bottom of my lowers are just a little bit lower. I got my finger where they're at, right here. Just a little bit lower than my turn signals. And the actual uppers are behind the upper part of the lower is behind the windshield. So this is where the top of my lower is. Uh, took it out. Got going about 70, 75 miles per hour. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being where it was, it's now like a 2 or a 3. So... Uh, I was going along 
about 75 miles per hour. Had my visor up on my full face helmet and still worked really good. So um, I'm sure the Memphis Shade lowers works great. I snapped one, didn't feel like going out and buying new ones, so I just made my own. But I wanted to show you guys this so that you knew, yes, you could do it on your own, and that the .93 Lexan will work. Have a good one, guys. Good luck. Oh, forgot one other thing. That's my bike. VTX 1300S 2006. Love it, love it, love it. Have a good one, guys.